Isaiah 9 and 6, St. John 3 and 16, and Acts 21 and 14. Everybody got it? Everybody got it? Isaiah 9 and 6. Amen. For unto us a child is born. Amen. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. The Mighty God. The everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Turn to John 3 and 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Acts 21 and 14. And when he would not be persuaded, we see saying, the will of the Lord be done. Amen. My subject today, if I was to leave with you on this Christmas morning, to be, would be, be done. Be done. Capital B. Be done. In B, capital D, and done. Explanation point. Be done. Be done. Acts 21 and 14 says, And since he would not be persuaded, we fell silent, remarking the will of the Lord be done. You might as well be silent. It might as well be a silent night. Because God's will will be done. Amen. Regardless of what you think, well, God is of what you say. God's will will be done. Come on. And aren't you glad that God's will be done? Yeah. Because Come on, Isaiah 9 and 6 yeah. explained to us that a child was to be born. Come on. And a son given. Come on. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Yeah. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Wonderful. Counselor. Mighty. The mighty God. The everlasting Father. Yeah. The Prince of Peace. Come on. He's so wonderful. The Son of God. That was born. Hallelujah. 2,000 years ago. Hallelujah. Born to this world. As a wonderful counselor, the mighty God, yes, yes, the yes. everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Yes, yes. Prince of Peace. Yes. Prince of Peace. Yes. A wonderful counselor. Yes. One that will counsel you when you're down in the press. No direction. He will be a counselor. The almighty God that will pull you out of mess that you are stuck in. The almighty God. Hallelujah. The Bible tells me that the only begotten son was given, hallelujah, by God. Aren't you glad that God gave his son? He gave his son as a sacrificial ransom for us. That we would have a right to the tree of life. Yeah. He came and he was born to die. And aren't you glad he was born today? Hallelujah. He was born to die. If he was born to die, you are born to 
would die. But he had a reason to be born. He had a purpose under the sun. And everyone here has a purpose under the sun. Whether or not you're in the will of God, hallelujah, you got a purpose under the sun. How do you keep running around in circles because you out of the will of God? Let his will be done. Lord have mercy. Matthew 6 and 10 says, your kingdom come, your will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. We find the time to realize that in this life, hallelujah, we got to Come subject unto God in order for his will to be done on this earth. And he said, Abba. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible for you to remove this cup from me. Yet not what I will, but your will be done. Hallelujah, because he was suffering on the cross, had been beat all night long, pierced in the side, nailed to the cross, hallelujah, nails all in his head, hallelujah, he suffered and bled and died for you, hallelujah, and he said, Lord, pass this bitter cup, hallelujah, come back, hallelujah, rescue me, let your will be done, not my will, not your will, but let God's will be done. Lord have mercy. What is the meaning of giving? Hallelujah. In the Bible. Hallelujah. In the Bible. Hallelujah. Malachi 3 and 10 through 12. Hallelujah. Giving is the one thing God tells us to test him on. Hallelujah. He gave all that he had. His only begotten son. Hallelujah. To the world. To be a ransom for us, uh, to be a sacrificial lamb for us. Uh, he gave his life for us. Uh, he died on the cross for us. Uh, if he had not been born uh, on this morning, uh, I wouldn't be standing here. Uh, I wouldn't be a bishop. Uh, I would have no life. Uh, I'll be swallowed up uh, by Satan uh, and his angels. Uh, I'll be swallowed up uh, by death, uh, but I don't have to uh, Die no more, huh? Cause I died once, huh? When I went in, huh? The liquid grave, huh? I died, huh? From my sins, huh? I don't drink no more, huh? I don't smoke reefer no more, huh? I don't commit fornication, huh? No more, huh? I don't commit a touchy, huh? No more, huh? I'm not a murderer, huh? Of my brother, huh? I'm not a thief, huh? By night, huh? But I've been born, huh? I died once, huh? Don't have to die no more. They have been swallowed up. They have been swallowed up. And the victory God is taken from the grave. When I laid down my life, been baptized in Jesus' name, covered by the blood, hallelujah, of the big, the great state. When God died and hung on the cross, when he came into this world as a babe, hallelujah, you have God, hallelujah, and you're not appreciating God, you're not praising God and living right for him. Thank you, Jesus. How in the New Testament, God Himself gave His only begotten Son because He loved us so much. And that Son died on the cross for us. He sets a model. Hallelujah. That generosity in God's people should be sacrificial you should sacrifice your life for your brother you should cry and moan and pray and turn away your plate for your brother hallelujah you see them in a chaos hallelujah 
their mood, when you see them in a depression state, when you see them homeless and don't have anything, your compassion should come down over you. Hallelujah. Your generosity spirit shall come over you. And you should be a giver of life. Hallelujah. You should have the characteristics of your father. You should have the characteristics of God. Hallelujah. Sometimes you got to step back. Hallelujah. Get out to the way. And let Jesus have his way. Say yes. Say yes. It is the given season. Every day is the given season. You got to give the word at all times. You got to be ready for every man's question. You got to be ready to have an answer. And the Bible is the answer. God's will indicates, hallelujah, that the pastor hopes that his or her actions are those that are willed by God or that is in the accordance with God's will that this, some desired event will come to pass or that some negative event will not come to pass because God's plan is karma hallelujah so whatever you give it's going to come back to you if you give out love it's going to come back to you if you give out evilness it's going to come back to you if you give out peace and forgiveness it will come back to you hallelujah God's purpose for me. Hallelujah. God's purpose for us. God is God. And he works all things, including your life, according to his purpose. Nothing can happen without God ordaining it. Psalms 57 and 2. I cry out to God most high. Hallelujah. And God who fulfills his purpose for me. This is the key in understanding God's purpose for my life. Hallelujah. Is nothing going to happen that God don't want happen. Unless you are blatantly living in sin. Are you blatantly living in sin? If you are, let me state the obvious. If you are blatantly disobeying the Bible. You are not living in God's purpose. Hallelujah. If you are blatantly disobeying the Bible, you are not living in God's purpose. And you will certainly experience a sense of aimlessness in your life. You won't be headed in the right direction. You'll be going around in circles. You'll be like a dog trying to get his tail. You'll be like a dog going back to your vomit. How do you save on Sunday or Monday you're drunk? Save on Sunday or Monday you're fornicating. Save on Sunday or on Monday you're committing adultery. Save on Sunday and on Monday you're a thief. Save on Sunday and on Monday you are, hallelujah, a uh, sinner man. Hallelujah. Done. Doing the same thing, never getting anywhere, never accomplishing anything because you're in sin. Not, not in, you're not in God's will. Hallelujah. And you're not in God's purpose. Hallelujah. Do you lack joy and excitement? If you wake up early, Hallelujah. And day filled with empathy. And you're totally bored. You're probably not doing what you were meant to do. God has created you uniquely. And has really good things planned for you. And one of the fruit of the Spirit is joy. Galatians 5 and 22. 
Hallelujah. And, and it is difficult thing you encounter and require patience and persistence. But sometimes if you don't have joy, you can't be persistent and patient. But overall, you should have a sense of joy and excitement that fills your days, your work, and your relationship. If you feel stuck in your job or your relationship, if you are desperately wanting a change, but also feel totally stuck in your life, that, uh, that is an almost certain sign that you're not walking according to God's purpose. Those who are stuck want to go in a particular direction, but don't know how to get there. So they spin their wheels feeling endlessly and frustrated, but unsure of how to make this frustration end. Do you feel trapped? Do you feel as though you're wandering from thing to thing without any forward progress? Not at all. You wonder, are you lost? You can regain the sense of purpose and discover that God has for your life. If you feel purposeless, ask God to give you wisdom and direction. James 1 and 5. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask God. Hallelujah. And ask God for purpose and direction. And expect him to give you an answer. If you want to become a dancer or an instructor or a painter, but you will begin to understand the heart of God. You have to be in the will of God for God to make it happen. You can't be, hallelujah, blatantly committing sin. Hallelujah. You got to be an honest heart. Hallelujah. Psalms 119 and 105 says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet. God's word is a lamp unto your feet. And a light unto your pathway. And God's word will bring you light unto your path. And get rid of the dark and clouds. In the Bible you learn how to live wisely in God's world. Which is the first step to finding your purpose. God has given you a specific gift. He has given you strength and gifts. Some are teachers. Some are artists. Some are fashion designers. Some are singers. Some are communicators. Some are nurses. Hallelujah, math counselors, principals, and dancers. You need people around you who will nourish your gift. You need to go to college or a year training program, a one-year training program. Hallelujah, and you that have been to college. Hallelujah, take that degree off the wall and use it and make it happen a business deal with a partner some of you are are thinking about it you need to act upon it and open up that business make it happen take your degree and and take your fear and sit on it take your degree pray on it and walk in your purpose Determine, hallelujah, your passing often helps you figure out that God has called you to do it. Hallelujah, God's work, hallelujah, starts at your intersection. It starts at your crossroad. Hallelujah, you're stuck at the intersection. Hallelujah, because fear has got you. Hallelujah, and your purpose is on the other hand. You got that degree. You're thinking about college. 
Hallelujah. Some of you are in college. Some of you are stuck. Hallelujah. But you need to take this time. Hallelujah. That you got at home. And God has put you down. Put a mass on you. Set you down in your house. So that you can think and pray. You ought to listen to the still voice of God. That's talking to you in your bedroom. That's talking to you in the bathroom. That's talking to you in your living room. You ought to listen to God as you pray. Because he done told you. Hallelujah. You have been to college. You got your degree. Now become what you are in that degree. Some of you are teachers. Some of you are certified nurses. Some of you are nurse trainers. Some of you, hallelujah, get your CNA. Some of you, hallelujah, want to be a fashion designer. Go out and get you a building. Start your work somewhere. Some of you are dancers. Hallelujah, start it out. Hallelujah, small. Some of you are communicators. Want to work in the communication. Go to school for a year. Find out about it. Find out some training. Do your purpose. Pray. Read your Bible. Let God direct you. Let Him lead your path. Stop being stuck. Hallelujah. Tell the devil he's a liar. I'm going forward in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Sometimes we are at the intersection of our gifts and our passion. Hallelujah. Sometimes you don't have a passion. But you that got a passion and got a gift. That may be God's purpose for you. Hallelujah. Proverbs 11 and 14. Proverbs 11 and 14. Where there is no guidance, a people shall fall. You ain't got your pastor guiding you. You ain't got your pastor crying out, shedding tears, losing sleep, praying for your soul. You ain't got a you ain't got a counselor. Abundance of counselors. There is safety. And in, a, in other words, one of the main ways God will help you find your purpose is in others. Sometimes you think you know too much. You need to listen to your pastor. You need to listen to your elder. You need to listen to hallelujah, your professor, your best friend, somebody you can trust. Somebody that got your back. I'm not talking about somebody that stabbed you in your back. I'm not talking about somebody going to pull you down. I'm talking about your parents. If you got good parents, hallelujah, encourage you to be all you can be. I don't care what you want to be. You want to be a de um, dancer. You got your parents encouraging you to be the best dancer. You want to be a teacher. You got your parents encouraging you to be great as a teacher. Be all you can be. Holy, you want to be that actor. You want to be that communicator. You got your friend. Holy, somebody telling you, go ahead, brother. I'm behind you. I'm praying for you. You want people in your life like that. Hallelujah. You have to listen to your pastor. You have to listen to your parents. Listen to your friends. To your counselor. To your professor. These are people that God has put in your life. Trust them. Don't trust somebody talking about you. Don't trust somebody you find lying. Don't put your trust in that. Hallelujah. It need to be people that you, hallelujah, that have your best interest in heart. Hallelujah, God's purpose for you. 
Sometimes it can be incredibly helpful to get away from it all. To take some unhired time, unhurried time, to think and pray and journal. Take some time to think and pray. Don't overthink. Take some time to think and pray and journal. What is overthink? Overthinking is when you, God tell you to do something, then the devil tell you to do something else. Then you keep thinking about it. Nope, nope. Don't do that. Think and pray yes. and journal. Yes. Write it down. Habakkuk 2 and 2. Write the vision. Habakkuk 2 and 2. You don't have to spend a week in the wilderness. No. You don't have to spend a week in the forest or in the woods to find this effective. Just take a day from the hustle and the grind. Yeah. Take a day yeah. from your job. Can be hugely rewarding. Tell it, Bishop. Tell it. Ask God for direction. And listen to God. Amen. And his voice. Hebrews 11 and 6. On, Hebrews 11 and 6. That God will always reward those who seek him. You got to seek him. In the end, trust God. In the end, trust God to lead you. Where he wants you to go. Psalms 23 and the second and third verse says, He leads me beside the still waters. And he restores my soul. Restores me. He done gave me my joy back. He done gave me my love back. He done gave me my strength back. I have been restored. He done put his power down in me. He done put his Holy Ghost down in me. So now I'm strong again. Now I can see clearly. The dark clouds have moved away. Now I can see clearly. Now I can run this race. Because I got God on my side. I got the right direction. Strengthens me. Hallelujah. Lead me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Hallelujah. You may feel confused, but that doesn't mean God is. You may feel confused this morning. Hallelujah. But that mean that doesn't mean God is. Hallelujah. Let God lead you. And let God lead your pathway. You ought to let God restore you and give you back your joy. Because the devil, how they will stuff in your heart. The devil will pull everything from you. Hallelujah. But you ought to kill the devil. Get behind me. Hallelujah. Man should not live by bread alone. But every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Hallelujah! 